Welcome to Chet TV News. I'm Callie Warren. After the Ministry of Forests, Lands and Natural Resource Operations released a bulletin about endangered caribou in the South Selkirk and South Peace areas, some of BC is outraged. The ministry says that in order to protect the endangered caribou, they have no choice but to remove the wolves. Uh, wolf populations have gone like through the roof in the area. Uh, people try to trap them, try to shoot them, but the rate of their populations is pretty crazy. So we pressured the province and worked with the province to do uh, a, bigger pro a bigger wolf kill program. Now at the time when we brought this up, we didn't realize it would be an aerial, aerial kill. We've been documenting that wolves have been a, uh, uh, directly impacting caribou through predation, of course. Uh, so we've got a situation on our hands here where we're looking at local caribou populations or unique herds actually becoming extinct in the next three to five years unless we take action to uh, remove the risk of uh, wolf predation. If there were another way where, say, there was a lot more trappers, a lot more hunters killing wolves, wolves are hard to kill, wolves are hard to trap. Uh, if there was a lot more the way it was, say, 30 years ago, it would be easier. We wouldn't have had to get, go to this point. But now, like you do a flyover and you can see wolves all over the place. You never see moose, you never see caribou. The plan will span over the next four winters with experienced pilots and specialized sharpshooters removing wolves from the area to help the caribou repopulate. But once that is finished, how will they maintain those numbers? We've only thrown around ideas, nothing's in stone yet with the, if then after the four years, but we're thinking more bounties and hopefully a, a trapping program where young people who are not in school or had coming back from school can have a chance to go learn how to trap and trap hard. Reporting for Chet TV, I'm Callie Warren.